Here we are, guys. This is it. This is the end of the witness. I can't get out of the elevator, so I think it's time that I <laughs> just beat the game. I'm at 521 panels, though. I'm worried I'm gonna have a panel missing at the end of all this. And if that's the case, then I'm just gonna have to find the last one after we beat it. So, um, without further ado, here's the end. Hey, and that must also mean I'm gonna get my platinum. Sending it to heaven or something. It literally is like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. In a stream. In a stream. I never noticed that one. That person with the canvas, that is. A flash of lightning in a summer cloud. A flash of lightning in a summer cloud. Oh, the panels are turning off. Why are they turning off? A phantom. A phantom. Phantom.
dream. And a dream. And a dream. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> I feel like all my hard work was for naught. <laughs> it just reset everything. I guess it's all just like an endless cycle or something. Okay, so that's the ending, I guess. Um, what did I end up with? Okay, so that brought me to 522. So I'm clearly missing something. Ugh. Well, that was the ending of The Witness. The super awesome ending. Hey, now since I have foreknowledge, I can do things like that right away <laughs> in my new game new game it just feels like continuation of the old game anyway here we are and then if I wanted to I could go back in here you know but um I'm gonna load up my last save it says 522 because I'm clearly missing something I just don't know what I hope it's not going to make me start in the elevator. I want to start outside of the elevator. No, I want to be out of the elevator. I want to get out of the elevator. I want to get out. I want to get out. Okay. Can I get out? No! Oh! There's something down here. I didn't realize that. You don't think that's panel 523, do you? No, it's not. Okay. Well, I'm out of the elevator now. I'm gonna go on a, a hunt now that I've officially beaten the game to find this last panel that I missed. So, I'll let you know where that is once I find it. <laughs> I found the puzzle in the quarry next to this dude who's just chilling and I I somehow missed this <laughs> I have no idea and unfortunately it looks like fairly complicated <laughs> I must say but um how am I supposed to get all those both of those how, how does that work oh hold on I see there's another starting point there's more than one starting point shit <laughs> Um, well, ooh, okay, well, I guess, you know, it wouldn't be a complete witness day unless, you know, it involved me trying to solve a horrendously difficult puzzle. <laughs> I don't even know if this does anything for that record. Um, we might be on to something. Maybe I can get it to negate. Well, I mean, it's purple. I don't really know if it being purple has to do with anything. Um, where? Uh, hmm. The thing about starting in those is I can't split anything that way. Unless I can make it forget one of the hexagonal dots. Maybe I can make it do that. Hold on. Uh, herm. Well, that's not gonna help me there. Er. Oh. How about that? It's all white on the inside. All the blocks are separated. There's an extra area of white, and maybe that purple hexagon can get rid of the hexagon? 
Yes! Yes, what does that even activate? Anything? Does it activate a damn thing? Hey, stone doves. Um... It doesn't look like it, but now I have my max score. Yes! I have completed this game. Let's, uh, let's brag for a second and look at my platinum trophy. My platinum plaque. Take your time. There it is. Every trophy. It's a very rare trophy. And I got it. Cool. Cool. So I just 100%ed The Witness, and I beat it, I got every secret thing, I got every single audio log, I got every single environmental puzzle, maybe not always in the most logical way, but I got them all, and uh, you can find them all in this playlist of, actually this is my first official complete Let's Play. I've never completed a Let's Play before, and I chose a relatively, not relatively, a very... <laughs> very ambitious game to do it with. I didn't think it would be this ambitious, but I did it. So uh, last thing I'm going to do actually is um, do the ending one more time, see if it changes. I'm not expecting it to, but maybe there'll be a little extra something something now that I've uh, gotten every single puzzle there is to get. What's the easiest way for me to get back down? Let's go through here. This'll take me down back underground where I need to go. And then we can watch me float away in my floating glass prison and then watch the game reset itself as I cry. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna cry. It's not gonna make me cry. It's just kind of like, ugh, I did all that work. I went the wrong way too. Oops. I didn't mean it. Well, while I'm on my way back, I can do a brief review of this game. My review of this game is, tis excellent. <laughs> this is an excellent game. It had me sufficiently stumped at many different points throughout, and I love that feeling. I don't get that feeling enough when I play games anymore. I remember when I was really young, uh, one of the first games I really got invested in was on my Game Boy Color when I played Link's Awakening, the Game Boy Color remake, DX. And I was just at the, I was like maybe eight, nine when I first played that. And I think that was like my first official Zelda game other than Ocarina of Time. And that game was so hard. And that must have just taken me so long to complete. And at that point, I had no way to access any sort of walkthrough or FAQ. And it just had me stumped. And nowadays, it's just so easy to like look something up, which is, you know... I count that as a blessing, ultimately. Personally, I find that to be a good thing. But there is a sense of accomplishment that you lack in games because of that, because they can get so easily spoiled for you now, or just so easy, just like, I can't figure this out, let me tap a button. But I resisted as hard as I could for the majority of this game, and there are definitely sometimes I succumbed. And when it came to collecting everything, like the environmental puzzles and the audio logs, obviously I looked those up. Because in my mind, if it's going to be something I have to find, I don't really care so much then about finding it on my own, because now then it's just saving me time. I don't understand what... I don't get any enjoyment or satisfaction out of just like trying to locate things on my own if there's a pre-existing list somewhere compiled for me that I can just use to my advantage. Because otherwise I'm just wandering around aimlessly. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But when it comes to solving puzzles like these, I do feel a great sense of accomplishment. And this game gives me a wonderful sense of accomplishment as I continue to progress through it. And I love that this game treats you like you are capable of just about anything, really. You can figure out the puzzles on your own, and uh, sure enough, I did. I went into it being like, what the hell? And then I eventually figured it out. And that's sort of the beauty of this game. You can be a star at dawn <laughs> when you play this game. So I think visually, it's extremely impressive. It's extremely artistic. It's beautiful to look at. It's very mysterious and occasionally unsettling. Um, 
it surprisingly colorful considering how grim some of the audio logs and video logs can be and I do like that everything sort of is up in the air and there are multiple explanations for really just about everything in this game I'm curious does the yeah it's closing I didn't even notice that my first time through this ending and I mean I'm left with a lot of questions as to like what was going through the developers' minds when they did determine what everything was going to look like or why there maybe why this person who was suddenly petrified on the top of the mountain, why that person? And maybe there's just some hubris involved where it's like you're trying to reach the insurmountable. But then some of the scenes are so tranquil. It's a very stimulating game. It leaves me wondering how I have a lot of questions and clearly I'm not going to get all the answers. But I also think that's sort of what this game is trying to explain, too. Especially with a lot of those video logs, like, there's, there are some things we're just not able to understand or are beyond our comprehension. And I think that comes into play when he talks about things like religion and God and interpretations of science and science versus religion. Or what are the origins of ways of thinking and beliefs and dogma and philosophy. And I don't know. It's just all very interesting. And it leaves me wondering, and it was very fun along the way, very frustrating, but very fun. I do sometimes get frustrated with endings like this, though, because it leaves me wondering if it's a cop-out, because it's like, oh, I didn't understand how I wanted this to end myself, so therefore, <laughs> I leave it to you to just interpret as you will, which is fun, but... You know, you wonder when you get into a situ situation like this, like, did the developers or the, the story writer or whoever just sort of get in over his or her head? <laughs> and then just to choose, like, you know what? No ending is best. So, you know, maybe that's sort of what this all is. But it's like an endless cycle. We're going back to the beginning. Everything is sort of resetting itself as it was. And maybe it's sort of like you ascend... I've reached heaven, and now my life force is, like, inhabiting somebody else. And now I begin life anew. I pulled that out of my butt. I don't think it's particularly interesting, <laughs> what I just came up with, or particularly original, but that's just my 30-second interpretation of what's going on. You're kind of just like a spirit floating, being reincarnated back into yourself or something. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure I'll spend, you know, far too much time tonight <laughs> researching various interpretations of this game. I mean, articles came out so soon after this game came out being like, what does the witness mean? The interpretation of the witness, this and this. I just avoided them because, of course, I didn't want to read them. Because I didn't want to get the game spoiled. But I also thought, like, there was going to be some major overarching story that was, you know, about to be spoiled for me. But then, alas, it was not. <laughs> but in any event, this game is very challenging. There's a lot to do. It's a very big game. I love how open it is. And I felt very lost at the beginning. But then it all sort of just like becomes painfully clear as you go along. And um, I don't know. It's, a, it's like a puzzle game in the truest sense. But it's so much more than that. And I just haven't really um, been captured by a game quite like this in a while. And then left so mystified, confused, and also strangely elated and disappointed at the same time because i just want so much more but it gave me so much already so i'm rambling at this point the point is you should get this game it's wonderful i had a great time playing it it's very challenging if you like puzzle games you're obviously gonna love this if you don't like puzzle games you may not like this um because it is so damn hard and you need to be someone who understands that you're going to reach a puzzle you're not going to know what to do and that's fine <laughs> that's okay don't get frustrated although it will frustrate you just understand that that's the nature of the world you can't always solve every problem maybe you even need a little help along the way but I challenge you to do it on your own for the most part I did that too minus a few outstanding puzzles like the red door at infamy but that was also spoiled for me from the get-go sort of on accident then I couldn't go back. But also, I don't know if I've been able to solve that on my own. I still don't understand why it works, <laughs> to be completely honest. 
So yeah, so um, we're falling back into our, our dream state, I guess. Maybe that man in the previous thing was also waking up from a dream or going to sleep in a dream. It's all a dream. Or not. We're witnessing something. Whatever it is I witnessed, it was good. I enjoyed it. I got everything. I got 100%. I got platinum. Not that, you know, getting 100% is, you know, the reason to do something. But I tend to like doing it. Well, as you can see, if I wanted to start anew, I easily could. Kind of like I did before. It's so funny now when you go back into it. There is replay value in the sense that suddenly... Oh, I already even missed one. Forgot about this lovely environmental puzzle. There, I love the fact that the way this game is constructed, there's so much to miss. <laughs> Going into it. <laughs> And, like, a lot of it just was not going to reveal itself until I understood the way of the world like this. Who knew? But now I got it. Now it just feels like you can breeze through life. No problem. I'm obviously not going to play this whole damn thing again. <laughs> Tis not my purpose. But I feel like this will be a nice ending to this video. Me going back into the secret room listening to the credits maybe I'll sit behind the desk like I'm your receptionist is it not gonna play anything? suddenly I'm not getting any information from it that's strange oh well whatevs Maybe because I'm coming in here at the beginning of the game? Maybe that's a different thing than coming in it at the end of the game? I don't know. Where are the other audio logs? I know there's another one somewhere. There it is. Is there, like, are the super titles not on? Yeah, I want the subtitles. Of course I want the subtitles. Really? But it doesn't speak to me, so I don't understand how... whatever. That's weird. So, we're gonna wander through the house. For the meaning of life. For the Holy Grail. Or something. The horizon of my heart! I want to lounge. I want to take a chill. I don't know what you would accomplish by lounging in here. I don't think you're going to get a tan. <laughs> Not in this room. Okay, that's it. More credits. Yeah, this definitely seems like it wants to happen after you're done. zap -a -pa. Oh, I can't go that way. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Oof, my voice is shot today. Ugh. It's been a long week. Lots of singing and stuff. I could have sworn there was an audio lock somewhere around here. Zoop. I know there's that one. I can't believe I forgot that stupid puzzle in the quarry. It was like a relatively big puzzle, too. Like, not one that I would have been likely to miss. I don't know, I guess I was just distracted. That's so strange. Oh, you want to do it this way. Oh, JK. Wait, I did this before. Why can't I figure it out all of a sudden? It was so painfully clear to me what I needed to do with this before. 
<laughs> now I can't seem to understand how to do it. Mm. Wait a minute. What's, what am I? What? Why am I struggle bussing? Obviously not that. Oh, duh. Duh. I'm gonna progress on further. Zoop. And then we get our crazy little video of the game developer waking up from some kind of coma. Mm. So, uh, you've seen this before, but I might as well let it play. So yeah, I highly recommend this game, and if you like watching my videos, once again, I'm Brad, also known as Baron as in Red on everywhere. You can find me on social media for the most part. That's uh, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, not on Facebook. I'm my own my, my own self on Facebook. <laughs> and uh, or you can find me as a trendsetter89 on PSN as well. Um, also, that's the name of my normal YouTube channel, which is for everything other than gaming. And uh, you're watching the Wumpa Fruits, which consists of myself, uh, my boyfriend CJ, and my other really good best friend Chris, also sometimes called CJ, but that confuses me, so I just call him Chris. But I've been known to call him CJ in the past. And um, this is our first official complete let's play of our lives. And now it's done. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, like and subscribe below, follow us everywhere you can, and uh, stay tuned for more games. we got Zelda coming up. We've got a whole bunch of stuff uh, planned in the future, like drunk gaming. Of course, there's going to be more of that. Even board games. We want to do board games as well, now that I'm into brain teasers, like The Witness. Um, yeah, so I, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. And expect many more Let's Plays in the future. I hope that's not his pee in that bottle. <laughs> Hope it's at least apple juice. <laughs> I'd prefer that. Because I'm a child and I like things like apple juice. Oh, look at that. Another one of my videos just posted. <laughs> so, um, this has been The Witness. If you have any ideas of what games you'd like me to play next or in the future, obviously, I'm, you know, Zelda's my main thing right now. And I, of course, have many other planned as well. But let me know what games you want to see me play. And I'll gladly take up any of your suggestions, whether or not I choose to actually play them or not. I'll at least listen to your suggestions. It's a very large cardigan. I think it's a cardigan. I could be wrong. It's got, like, ape hand. Oh, you know what? I am can remove Finish the Witness from my memos. <laughs> As I've completely done that now. Finish witness. Ta da! It's done. The witness is done. Officially. He's about to flick those coins. Don't get too surprised. It scared me last time. It actually threw me. I got a little bit frightened. Now let's hope that I can find that out when I sync the audio in the video for the face cam. Otherwise it will look really stupid. But I'm like... that these panels are all over this apartment or house or whatever it is. Now I need to look up a picture of Jonathan Blow and see if he looks at anything like that.
see this cookie no good. But this cookie is everything. I like this cookie. And I'm not going to close my microwave, but I will eat the cookie. But not the whole thing. I'll save the rest for later. This spoon makes different pitches when I bang it against different objects. Like that. No, that's the cookie. Keep the cookie intact. I don't want to bang it against the cookie. Look at all those teas, so neatly arranged on top of the open microwave, and that slightly dislodged stove and that open drawer. The fire extinguisher is awfully low. Just go outside already. <laughs> I know what you're going to do. Just go outside. personal little zen garden. The first time I watched this, in my previous episode, I saw this um, little stone statue on the top stair, and I, I looked at it and was like, environmental puzzle! <laughs> That's just where my head's at. Where is this house located in the world? I must wonder. And I know not. Crawl, crawl. I mean, wherever this house is, I want it, despite the overgrown greenhouse garden in the back. It's a very ambitious deck. I wonder if he shares the house with other people or not. So, that's been The Witness. Thanks so much for watching. Join me for my other Let's Plays. Zelda going on right now, and everything else that comes up in the future. Thanks so much. Like and subscribe.